If you are a beginner in media and for one reason or the other, you are not able to get a video camera to start up, I'm going to show you how to connect more than one phone using a plugin in OBS Studio for free. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started. For this setup, we are going to be using Droid Camp plugin. I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description below. Click the link to download. So head over to their website, scroll down and you will see where to download the plugin for Windows. So I'm just going to click on install Droid Camp OBS plugin. There's also for Mac and Linux, so I'm just going to click download for Windows and click on download. Now immediately you finish downloading it, just follow the steps and install it. So I'm just going to install it. And immediately you finish installing, click on finish and head over to OBS Studio. Now in OBS Studio, I'm just going to head over to scenes and create a scene for the first phone camera. Click on the plus icon and you can rename it. Now under sources, click on the plus icon. And you will see droid camp obs so just click on it and you can rename it as phone one the first thing you need to do is to set your resolution if your base and output resolution in obs studio is 1080p or 720p this is where you can set it so i'm just going to set it to 1920 by 1080 next scroll down and you will see wifi ip now on your smartphone make sure you download the app i've already downloaded it on my phone droid camp obs i'm going to be leaving the link down in the description below so i'm just going to click on open and now once you also download the app it will ask you if you want to allow camera and other things just click on allow and also note that both your phone and your laptop need to be connected to the same internet so i'm just going to insert the ip for my phone once you are done just click on activate and now as you can see we have successfully added the first phone camera in obs studio so i'm just going to click on ok and now as you can see we have successfully added the first phone camera if you want to change your camera this is where you can be able to select it so just click on this icon here and you will see the list of cameras available on your phone so i'm just going to select front testy testy one two testy testy one two if you want to remove this watermark shown here just click on get pro and load advert once you watch advert the watermark will remove for about one hour so i'm just going to click on load advert and now as you can see we have successfully removed the watermark next i'm just going to add the second phone camera click on the plus icon in scene and you can rename it so i'm just going to go to sources click on sources and add another droid cam next follow the same settings by changing the resolution and move to ip and copy the ip from the second phone once you are done just click on activate and now as you can see i've successfully added the second camera this is the camera one and this is the camera two next i'm just going to click on ok if you want to remove the watermark just click on load advert watch an advert and the watermark will automatically remove for one hour using this setup you can be able to live stream with obs studio using two phone cameras as a beginner and after some time you can now upgrade to a professional camera if you found this video helpful do not forget to hit the like button comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any question drop it down in the description below and also i've created a telegram group where you can be able to ask your questions and also learn more tips in media i'm going to be leaving the link to the telegram group down in the description below and also check my channel description for the link my name is Ebenezer from Osa Studio see you in my next video